It's moments like this that I make or break whether you're gonna become successful or you're gonna become a millionaire because Good morning guys, so it's Monday morning, back on the vlogs again this week. Um, I took a week off last week just to have a bit of a chill uh, because it was my last week in Chiang Mai. I'm really excited because I'm going back to Bali tonight, super looking forward to that. I just kind of feel like Bali's a bit more um, welcoming, I just enjoyed the vibe a lot more. So yeah, it was great here and I managed to get loads of stuff done because it's pretty like chilled. But yeah, really looking forward to going back to Bali. So I've got a few things to do this morning, then I need to pack my stuff up and then I'm on a plane out of here. Just in a coffee shop now just to get a bit of work done with my new little mate this little cat that keeps turning up every day just chill with me and it's pretty cool here like a little outside area where i've been chilling but i just wanted to give everyone an update on my clickbank campaign so i did a video um would it be last week i think when you're watching this video if you haven't seen it check it out i'll put a link up to it above um but basically i told everyone how i'm making 100 dollars per day on clickbank and it was the first time i tried it some people commented to say, well, can I carry that on? Will it actually work long term? So I set up another one, bought some more solo ads, and it worked. I made $129 off that one campaign. So I made $98 off that first campaign. I set it going again, I made another $129 off 100 clicks. And then I've not put any more campaigns out. I've just been following some of the people up with emails, and I made another $14 from that. So as you can see, it's really working. It's a great way of doing... Um, marketing with clickbank using solo ads the only thing is it's slightly slower than say facebook ads because you've got to wait for the person who owns the list to get back to your emails and then then actually send the campaign out so it's a bit slower but it works great and i'm going to try and upscale from now on so now i'm just going to um, carry on working here for a little bit longer do some emails and things and then i'm going to head back to the hotel and start packing for Bali. <music> Good morning, it's half past 4am, I have to be quiet actually, half 4 in the morning on Tuesday. I only had about 2 hours sleep last night, basically some new thing I'm doing to try and see whether I can um, be more successful 2 hours sleep a night. No, I'm only joking, I just couldn't sleep, I went to, I, basically I left everything to the last minute, my packing and stuff last night. Left it really late and then I didn't end up going to bed till really late and then I couldn't sleep so I only had 2 hours sleep so I'm knackered. But now, um, I just need to get ready. I've got like 20 minutes to get ready and then I'm getting in a taxi to the airport. Bali, 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 Bali. Arrived in Bali. Um, I'm absolutely knackered, but I'm here, I'm safe, I'm sound. I just really like Bali for some reason. Hotel that I checked in to is pretty nice as well, considering it only costs £17 per night. I think it was £17, might be even cheaper than that. Um, but it's got a nice little balcony. Um, let me see if I can show you. Looking out onto a pool. It's quite dark, but maybe you can see. So yeah, not bad for £17 a night. Um, so the plan is I'm only going to stay here for four days um, and then I'm going to look for somewhere more permanent like a villa or somewhere like that because basically my girlfriend um, he's coming out to Bali to stay with me so she's in the UK at the moment but she's going to come to Bali with her sister and we're going to get a little place out here a bit more permanent but yeah I'm really happy to be here super tired so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go and grab some food really quickly and then probably come back here and crash out because I'm tired Good morning guys, it's Wednesday morning. I'm not gonna lie, I'm so tired today. Um, so basically last night what happened is I went out for some food, came back, and then I ended up working till like midnight. It's just gone 9 a.m. now, I've just woken up. But that means I've kind of missed out on a night's sleep, so I've only had about um, like eight hours sleep. Um, so I missed out on the night before. So I'm proper tired, but I'm just gonna crack on with it. 
that's what I'm going to do today. Hopefully, if I can be asked, because <laughs> I'm knackered. But yeah, let's crack on. So haircut's done, feeling fresh. Now I'm just off to grab another coffee because I'm still knackered and then sort out what I'm actually going to do with the rest of the week. But I was just on my way back from the coffee shop just before and I thought to myself, it's moments like this that I make or break whether you're going to become successful and you're going to become a millionaire because it's probably at this moment in time, I could just stop what I'm doing pretty much and I'd have enough money coming in to live an alright life and it would be easy, I could go and chill on the beach, be really good, put all that one post on Facebook or just check a few things and it would be an easy life. So then you think to yourself, well why are you putting yourself through this and taking on more work and building five more funnels and, and getting up early and doing all this stuff, but that is because I've got a big goal in mind and I'm on my way to it. And I bet so many people, like you think, why, why aren't that many people millionaires or successful? And yes, yeah, so many people don't take action, but I bet so many people start actually being successful and start doing well, and then they get to a point where they're like, what's the point in going any further if this life is good enough? And I think that's where a lot of people will get stuck. So I'm adamant that I'm not gonna get stuck at this complacency stage and stay where I am. So I've just gotta push through it and then, yeah, I'm gonna to get to the top. Um, what I'm doing now is basically, my big thing for today is Instagram. Um, so what I was doing in the coffee shop earlier was creating a specific sales page that's gonna be linked inside my Instagram page. And then now what I'm doing is creating the content, like the quote images and finding some of my photos and stuff, which I'm gonna schedule um, for the next week for Instagram, because my plan is to take Instagram up to a huge level because I've seen people killing it on Instagram and it's such a great free traffic source um, and it's, it's amazing so I'm, I'm gonna join that club and I'm getting on my Instagram because I'm in Bali I'm doing fun things and there's perfect photo opportunities um, so I think I should be capitalizing on it with with Instagram so that's what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day good morning guys it's Thursday morning feeling really good today um, just woken up, like literally just jumped out of bed. My girlfriend's on her way over from the UK, she arrives today, um, so really looking forward to see her. But this morning, I've actually got to jump straight onto a coaching call, straight out of bed, because I've booked one in this morning. Hi, coaching call went well, now I'm just off to grab some breakfast and then to work on some sales funnels for most of the day. I'm working on some sales funnels. Now I'm just back off to the hotel because my girlfriend's on her way back from the um, airport. So my girlfriend's arrived. Say hello. Hello. She's my PA, really. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to end the vlog for today. I'm going to chill out for the rest of the day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning guys, it's Friday morning. Um, so today, um, we need to try and find somewhere to live. So, we're gonna go to a cafe, so we can look online, um, look for some like um, villas, places like that. And then we're gonna go and like view some places and try and find somewhere nice to live. The most important thing is fast internet, that's all I care about. Um, so yeah, we'll see what we can find. So we was in the cafe looking for somewhere to stay, couldn't really find anywhere online. So we decided to go out and like kind of just look around because there's loads of places in the street like advertising vacancies for like long term. So we're going to try and find somewhere. We've already been to a few places already, can't find any rooms for as long as we want. So we're just going to have to keep looking. Hi guys, so just back at the hotel now. Spent the whole day walking around trying to find somewhere to live in Bali and it's a lot harder than you think. I thought I was going to be able to find somewhere really easy but like most of the places kind of were a bit alright but not perfect. Um, so we've basically found somewhere, put a deposit down but then I realised that I don't really want to stay there. So the, the search is still on, still trying to find somewhere to stay. I've had to come back to the hotel because I've got a Skype call with someone who's interested in working with me, um, with Builderall. He's got some great ideas, sent me an email yesterday. Um, so I'm just going to talk through some of them ideas with him on Skype just now. So what do you think about my email? Yeah, I just, I just reread it just, just before the call. I think it's ambitious to get to, to put a figure on how much you're going to make by putting this much money in. Okay, so for, um, you know, 
it's, it's, yeah, so it's, it's all changing, but also... Uh, so just finished on the Skype call now um, with that guy. It's really refreshing, really good, because the guy's like super motivated and ready to take action straight away, which is like really refreshing to speak to someone that's just ready to take action. Because you don't know how many people I speak to on a daily basis that I've been speaking to for months. And they're always looking for like this secret answer or they're going, have you got a course on this? Or can you show me, can you guarantee that I'm going to get these results? And then months later, they're still not taking any action. Um, so the, my motto in life is just jump in at the deep end, try it out and see how it goes and take action. And then you learn so much more that way, if, even if it does go wrong, but you're going to progress so much quicker. So yeah, make sure you're taking as much action as you can and just, yeah, and you'll get a lot further in life. So that's it for this week's vlog. Um, I'm still going to find somewhere to live um, tomorrow or the next day, but I need to edit this vlog. So I'm going to end it here. Um, I'll let you know how I get on with finding somewhere to live in next week's vlog. And it's my birthday on Sunday as well. So I'll let you know how that goes because I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, hope you liked this week's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on next week's vlog. Till next time, cheers.